Hey guys, Derek here from Farmstead Outdoors and today we are gonna go over the Boning Triple Tower Fletching Jig. All right, so before we dive into this thing, um, basically anyone can use this. So it's super easy, super simple. Um, I mean, even, uh, it, it's it's nice doing your own arrows so you can fletch those up if you rack them You know you can just go in your garage fletch them up or whatever um, also you can do them for your your friends or um, you know, People that you know you can charge them make some money off of it So it's actually pretty cool pretty nice being able to do all your own stuff at home um, And being able to help out your friends as well. So um, Just a tip there um, so that way you don't have to go into your local archery shop and have them refletch up your arrows for you. So basically in the long run, you know, you get one of these things and uh, you're gonna eventually be saving money in the long run by not spending money at the archery shop for them to fletch up your arrows. All right, so I have the jig all set up here with the red arms on there, which are the one degree right. And that will be able to hold up a uh, four inch vein. Then we got the gray arms here. That's going to be the straight. Those will hold up to a four inch vein. And then the black ones here, that's going to be your three degree right helical. And those will hold up to a three inch vein. So um, get all those, which is pretty cool in the triple tower. Um, and then these are uh, easily removed. There's a little Allen screw right here on each arm. And there's a little nut on the... Uh, the back side of that allen screw so when you're loosening that up you kind of got to be careful you know put your finger underneath there so you don't lose that nut also in the center you got your post here a little screw on the bottom um they just twist out so you can just pop those out easy enough there so the triple tower here comes with a 0 0.166 0 0.204 0 0.231 0 0.246 and then it comes with the crossbow bolt holders and a uh, pin knock adapter too. So you get all those included. So basically you, it, it covers everything. Uh, you, you can basically fletch up anything out there. So, um, so I got some boning fletchings here. I got the, uh, the heat vein. So it does heat obviously your two inch blazer and uh three inch x vein there and x3 veins so those are nice um, so right now i am taking a little screw out here you see me you know holding my finger underneath to keep that nut in otherwise it'll drop out and you'll know, be chasing that around so yeah, the arms just pop in and out like that. Very easy, very simple. So right now I'm fletching it up with uh, some two inch blazers and I got the, the gray arms on there. So it's just a straight fletch. Um, and I'm going to be fletching up a gold tip kinetic pierce arrow. So it's got the 166. So I'm swapping this one out. I think it's a 246 that I had in there. Putting the uh, 166 post in there and you just basically put in the shaft y you have to take the knock off of course and yeah that shaft just fits right on there so we got a couple different glues here I've been using the blazer bond the stuff's been working out really good so I do enjoy the blazer bond before I was using gold tip tip grip that stuff works out really good too I mean you can use g5 blue glue there's so many different glues out there but those are the two main ones I'm using right now. So a little trick that I've learned is you can take a Q-tip like that and just cut the just cut it off. And uh, I'll show you how to use that later. So what I do is I take my glue and I'm basically just dabbing little dots onto the fletching. Just dab a little bit. And seriously, guys, you don't need a lot of glue. Uh, it's very little glue will will take you a long way. So just dabbing it on there. Then I take my Q-tip 
and I'll just kind of run it right down the middle and it just basically scoops out extra glue that you don't need. So do all three of them like that. Make sure you got a nice even coat. Basically you just want to make sure there's glue that coats the whole fletching. Alright, yeah, so then what you got here is basically like a wedge. You got different wedge sizes. So this is the, the red one. This is for a small. Obviously we're running a 166 shaft. So that just goes on there like so. Then you flip that little lever, which brings the arms closer together. Push everything down. Just get it nice and snug. Make sure the arms are nice and level at the top so that your fletchings are all even and in the same spot so basically I'll just wait 10 seconds or so and uh, that's all that it takes it's not very long that blazer blazer bond stuff sets up pretty quick so pull it on out there you go you're all fletched up all right guys thanks for checking out the boning triple tower fletching jig if you like this video give it a thumbs up also please subscribe to the channel we do appreciate it thanks have a good day